It is often said that picture worth a thousand words, and that's absolutely true. So here I'm going to、uh, show you all the four versions. One, two, three, four, side by side, and you can see the difference. So this vertical line represents the time I put this indicator on, and this vertical line represents the current time. Okay, it's May thirtieth. <coughs> As you can see, it's quite clear. Before this time, all four indicator looks exactly the same. If I See, they all look exactly the same, but after that, and the line displayed is different. And these two, version three and version four, display the same way. If you look at the left, if you look at this highlighted area, 1930 from 1930, and then if I slide six bars. You can see version three and version four now display all the same value, okay? And they're all like straight lines for six bars because I'm trading five minutes and I'm displaying thirty minutes. If you look at version one or two, and these lines are not straight. Like I said, they take the intermediate readings on the thirty-minute chart, but they look very similar, and the readings are different because if I If I slide this line and once again look at the left side, and these readings are are all different, okay? Because version one reads at the opening of five, every five minutes, and it did not update. Right here is eight p.m. is twenty hours, and version one reads exactly the readings on the eight eight p.m. And version two actually reads at eight p.m., but every second pass, every take coming, it's going to read the different value until twenty o five. Then it's fixed. For example, like this part, I'm I'm pointing here. It opens at nineteen fifty five. It closes at twenty. And if you look at the left on the screen, version two three. Four all reads the same value, but version one is different. If you look at the current bar, the version two, three, four should always be the same. Version one is not. Now, if I put all these indicators in the back testing environment, and here is what I have here. I actually have two, three, and four. I run it for a while already. You can see version two and three does not. Display correct value at all, but version four is constantly it displays the correct value. However, you will see as as the trade progress, well, time progress, and this line keep at a constant level. In real in reality, this should move up and down. Although it is a straight line, it should move up and down until thirty hour pass, then fix at this level. But this never moves at all. It always fixed as as the closing level seems like it's already no. Because in the back testing, we're using the I bar shift、um, function to get this value. As a result, it does already no. So、uh, this is the limitation of this version. However, it does give you、uh, the relative correct display on this. Like I suggested before. To、uh, code the EA based on a system that has multi time frame element, you don't always need an indicator. For example, this particular testing system,、uh, I have I happen to need to use two moving averages on higher time frame, and here I'm calling high high time frame one, high time frame two. And assuming I do not have a multi time frame moving average indicator, um. And I don't, I don't really need to. I simply just ca calculate everything inside the EA. What I do is to display all the status on screen for the clients to see. If right now I get a signal of selling, like on my current time frame, you can see right there, the higher time frame is down and down. And also the readings here is、uh, displayed exactly as here.
So the conclusion is, you don't really always need the indicator to、uh, to have your EA built.